Hi, hello. So I've been receiving some comments about Krita, and I thought let's give it a try. For those of you who don't know, Krita is a free drawing app that can be used in both Mac and Windows, so that's good for all of us. But first, check out this tablet I got from XP Pen. It's one of the new Artist series tablet. It's called Artist 10 Second Generation Pen Display. Yes, it is quite a mouthful, but it looks pretty cool. And by the way, I will announce a pen tablet giveaway. More on that later in the video. Here we have the tablet, oh is that a little fox, the manual, thinning fabric, and the artist glove. As always, my hand is too small for it. There's also a lot of replacement nibs, which is great. This is the X3 Smart Chip Stylus. It's XP Pen's lighter yet more epic stylus pen. It ensures you experience no lagging, no broken brush strokes, and overall better experience when you're drawing. And these are the cables. I'm not a fan of cables, but I cannot do any anything without them, so. The tablet itself is very portable and you can take it anywhere. Look, I'm drawing in a local cat cafe. You can draw with cats. How great is that? Well, I was supposed to draw with cat, but I ran out of cat food, so now I'm alone. Sad. The tablet can also be connected to your Android. Now, we love using IBIS Paint on Android in this channel, but the size is making us claustrophobic. Well, not anymore if you have XP Pen Artist 10 second generation. Of course, you will need to buy a C2C cable, but it should be very easy to find. If Artist 10 is not really your cup of tea, there are other new Artist series tablets such as Artist 16 second, Artist 13 second, Artist Pro 16, and Artist Artist 12 second, and they're all equipped with X3 Smart Chip Stylus. It's nearing Christmas, why not pick out a new display tablet from XP Pen for your loved ones or for yourself? Anyway, check out XP Pen, link in the description, and keep watching for the giveaway. Alright, so right away, Krita's interface is similar with Photoshop and Clip Studio Paint, except for the brushes. It's on the right section instead of the left. I'm just exploring the brushes here and try to find out the best brush for sketching, so please ignore this abomination of a sketch. So here I couldn't find how to deselect. Usually I use shortcut Control D for Photoshop and Clip Studio, but it doesn't do anything here. Okay, after some googling, you click Shift Control A to deselect. Now I need liquefy like I need oxygen, so thankfully Krita has one. But oh, sh oh. Oh, why is it so laggy? Is it my laptop? Okay, Krita users, please let me know in the comments if the liquify is laggy for you too. So for now, I'm just gonna use this thing called warp, I think, to fix the sketch. Okay, if your liquify is still laggy, just make a selection first and then reduce the amount and it should be smoother afterwards. By the way, I use this picture as the reference. Yes, very simple. Anyway, for line art or cleaner sketch, this brush with blue handle is pretty good. There are a lot of brushes in Krita, so you don't have to download more custom brushes. Okay, let's move on to coloring. Click Ctrl Shift G to create clipping mask group. This way, your shading will stay inside the base color. Or you can also click on this alpha symbol. It works the same. Now I can't find a smudge tool, so I use this brush that looks like I don't know what that is. Of funny eraser. Anyway, I use that brush and set it to low opacity to blend the colors. And yes, of course my art style changes depending on the software I use. Speaking of art style, what's the deal with AI art? I asked in a poll what you guys think of it and I got some interesting answers. It does raise some concerns like some people starting to use it to steal from artists like Sam does arts, but if you just mess around with it, writing funny prompts, I think it's just hilarious. Now you may be asking, Fong, why are you talking about AI art all of the sudden? Well, because it's related to the giveaway, of course. So for the next video, we will see if I, some random artist, can draw better than AI art. So I want you guys to write a prompt for the AI art in the comments. Write as cringy and as unfunny as you can stomach. Just keep it family friendly and don't write things like, 
fat cats in Sam Dassart's art style, please be respectful to other artists. Two people whose prompt is chosen for my next video will receive Deco M Pen tablet from XP Pen. I will choose one prompt from YouTube and one from Instagram. And yes, you can enter from both YouTube and Instagram to increase your winning chances. You also need to follow XP Pen social media, you can check them out in the description along with the rules. You don't have to subscribe to me, don't worry, but also please subscribe, thank you. Okay, back to Greta. Here I made the golden arm thingy and duplicate it to the other arm. I'm using warp to adjust the angle accordingly. Warp is amazing, it's very convenient for adjusting detailed accessories, which is basically all character outfits in Genshin Impact. Now as always, I will use multiply layer to add darker colors. Don't forget to set it to clipping mask so the color doesn't bleed everywhere. And then I will use overlay layer to apply more saturated color. Now after that, I usually use the add or add glow layer for highlights. In Greta, there's addition, which I believe is the equivalent for add or add glow, but it doesn't seem to give the similar look to add layer. Normally, in add layer, there's this glow outlining the color. It's a small detail, but I think it looks really beautiful. Oh, why is his chin so long here? Look at that chin boy. Alright, so, is Krita the best Photoshop alternative? Well, my inner Asian parent says it can do better. For a free art software, it certainly is great especially for brushes selection and also other functions that is similar with Photoshop and Clip Studio, but you do have to familiarize yourself with the shortcuts and the interface. Personally, I still prefer using Photoshop or Procreate just because I find it easier to use. But if you're on a budget or you want to use a free app, I think Krita is great enough and you can create beautiful artworks with it. So give it a try and let me know in the comments if you have some Krita hacks or tutorial because this is my first time using it and I'm not very familiar with it. Don't forget to write your prompt for AI art in the comments down below. Remember, there will be a prize for the chosen one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!